welcome back to Contrastly. My name's Simon Plant, and today we're going to look at retouching gradient skies. So when it comes to retouching in Photoshop, we've got some great tools available to us. But sometimes those tools don't work as well on certain image. Now, imagine, if you will, we need to take this boat out of this uh, beautiful dawn scene uh, shot in Turkey. Um, for most part, it, it would take a bit of a time to do, but we could, wouldn't have too many problems. Except in the sky here, we've got this lovely dawn image, and if you notice, the light is obviously coming up um, in the background here, and we've got this uh, graduation of tone from very light to uh, not dark but darker on this side and to, to retouch this and keep all those tones is very very difficult uh, with that in mind let's have a go at using some of the tools that we've got available to us in Photoshop and see how far we get okay so let's make an empty layer and we're going to grab the spot healing brush first of all which can be a great tool uh, for quickly moving little bits of dust like this on the, on the image but on larger areas, say on here, it can start to run into problems. And I'm sure you've had this before, where it tries to blend the image, um, but it goes uh, a little bit smudgy, like on here. Let me just zoom in a little bit. You can see it's it's uh, it's really gone sort of smudgy and messy. And if we keep going over it, sometimes you can you can clean that areas up a little bit better. But it normally ends up looking a bit of a mess, like in here. There's before, there's after. So you know, in some areas it works quite well. So let's just delete that. Let's make another blank layer and let's go to our trusty clone stamp tool. I'm going to make the brush. Uh, stamp tool brush uh, a bit bigger and softer and uh, I'm not going to worry about going other other areas at this point I just want to get some nice sample points and as I said the problem we're going to have here and you'll, you'll see why in a minute we're going from light to dark very very quickly and also the colors are changing quite quickly as well so getting enough um, places to source from uh, can be a challenge so let's just have a go sampling from this side And I'm not saying it can't be done, but you usually find you run into problems when you uh, step back and take a look at the image. So obviously I'm going quite quickly on this for the video. So I'll jump for a little bit to save uh, boring you too much with me uh, just going over the image, cloning all the time. But uh, as I said, getting good spots to, start to clone from can be a challenge if the light is changing as quickly as it does in this image and uh, you can start to see now what I mean. Let me just zoom out a little bit. On first impression it looks quite good but there is bits here that are a bit patchy and a bit, bit, uh, bit, bit discoloration here and it's not, it's obviously graduating now from uh, the tones from this side to this side very smoothly. Now as I said if I spent more time on this, it is possible, but I've had um, a lot of problems trying to get this to work really well, especially on more demanding images than even this one. There's a lot more colours, say, from black uh, to blue and then to reds, and it can be a real nightmare. So I've got a little trick which I learnt um, a while ago, and it's so simple um, that it doesn't seem possible that it would work. So let me show you that. So the trick is this, I'm going to leave this in place, you don't need to leave it in place, but if you've done a bit of work, uh, obviously better than this hopefully, because I've done it very quickly, um, you could leave it in place, um, but we're just going to add another empty layer above that, and we're going to get a trusty old brush tool. Uh, again, it's a soft brush, uh, quite large, and then we're going to basically hold down the alter option key and sample the colors that are already already in the image so down here just sample over there I'm just gonna brush I've dropped my opacity down uh, sorry my flow down to about 11 15 percent and we just slowly can go over the image just sampling the colors that are already in the picture and this will help us hopefully just able to blend those colours and those tones in the sky much more smoothly than trying to find a clone source uh, that matches the area we're trying to uh, retouch. 
and my advice would be just to go steady just build the image up slowly especially this area here this is the important area you need to make this gradient uh, or gradiate uh, the uh, very very smoothly as possible and it can be quite hard so just take your time we can even uh, if we don't like these this bit of blue up here we can even uh, paint that over with the tone from this side if we wanted to so it's a very simple uh, simple way of working um, but uh, as I said you just got to take your time and just slowly build the image up a couple of little tips once you've got so far and you're happy with it might be a good idea to add another layer so that we're not going to mess up the good work we've done already other tip is, as I said, keep the brush quite big. Don't worry about going over areas like this. It's far better to make some big brush strokes and get it looking good than trying to keep everything within a certain area. We can always add a layer mask afterwards and we can sort this out, but uh, far better to get those transitions looking good. Now, I'm pretty pleased at the moment with that. I think that's going to work quite well. Uh, it does help, though, to zoom out a little bit. And have a look and uh, it's not too bad there's still a bit of an issue here so uh, we'll keep going with that for a second just get those blended in best we can and uh, I think we're nearly nearly there so you can see much quicker and easier once you've done that we can perhaps just make a, a group come out of control G to group those um, then we can add a layer mask and we can now come in and just brush away our over spray or over paint or whatever you call it with a black brush on our layer there just make my brush a bit smaller and just come in and then just gently rectify that uh, areas we've over painted So I've just got in and refined my mask to take it away from the uh, the headland here uh, and uh, just smooth that out. And uh, so you can see, quickly see this is uh, this has helped a lot. It's uh, much quicker than trying to find good, uh, very small areas of tone uh, to clone from. Uh, this is not the worst sky I've retouched, as I said. Uh, this one's not too bad at all in comparison to some. If you get a really late sunset and the afterglow in the sun, you can get all sort of big range of uh, tones graduated and colors and it, that can be really difficult to uh, to use additional cloning tools on one last thing we might may, may want to do because we are painting here we're not sort of pushing around uh, pixels you might want to put a little bit of noise on this image so we can go up to the palette here and uh, add a new layer um, put the mode into uh, soft light or overlay let's do soft light and we want to click this button fill with soft light neutral color 50% gray and call this one noise like so right click uh, convert this to a smart object because it's useful and then we we'll go to filter and then up to noise add noise and we just want to add a little bit of noise, maybe uh, half a pixel, somewhere around there, and give that a go. And that just uh, breaks up the paint a little bit and makes it look a little bit more like uh, it should be there rather than we've just got in with a paintbrush. You probably won't see that, but it's very subtle, but it just adds uh, a little bit of noise there to help uh, help that all blend in nicely. So there we have it. There's before, there's after. I think we made a pretty good job of that, although we've worked quite quickly on this. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Cheers for watching.